Joey, we were kind of like, you know, just let the record label put the shit in the stores. We'll handle it from there. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. You know what I mean? So we started hiring our homies and building psychopathic. I'm talking ex-gang me ex members, fucking people that got felonies and just our homies, y'all. And we put out the great Malenko, it got dropped, it got picked up, it got a lot of exposure. I'm just gonna get to the six, cause I know that's what, that's the, that's what my wife's wanting. I, so Malenko, Malenko came out and um, with all the exposure and, and we went on a big tour and this thing came, okay, when Malenko first came out, the first week of its release, again, the second release, it sold 17,000 copies, right? And that was the same thing it sold the, when, when it got pulled out of record stores. So Island was like, what happened to the big publicity splash? We thought everybody would buy it like they did Cop Killer. Remember that? With Ice, Ice T's band. And they're like, nobody fucking bought it. You know, what the fuck? And we're like, I don't know. Y'all gave us a million dollars. <laughs> you think I give a fuck? You know what I'm saying? We know the Juggalos are out there. They got it. That's all I give a fuck about. I don't know about your fan rush. I don't know about your rush of million fucking fans that all of a sudden want to be down. We got the Juggalos, you know? 100,000, I'm cool as fuck with that. But they read this documentary on MTV. They bought the time in an auction. And they ran documentary on MTV. This is in 1997. And there happened to be a lot of people, a lot of brothers and sisters, like y'all, watching and feeling that shit. And the great Malenko went platinum. Took two years, but it went platinum. But I was also noticing, I can't front, there was a lot of bullshit motherfucking backstreet people. You know what I'm saying? And they're coming up, I'm down with the clown dog, and I'm like, I don't know, motherfucker. <laughs> Man, I am a motherfucking Juffalo, I swear it. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, a lot of times I was like, fuck y'all, and left, you know, left stages and shit, cause it just got to the point where they didn't know nothing but Malenko, and it was just a weird era, and I didn't like the, you know. And then, and then um, weird things started happening. Like, we became stars. So, like, all of a sudden, David Arquette. You know who that is? David Arquette gives us a call. Yeah, I want to have lunch with you guys. I'm like, I know about 100,000 juggalos are probably like to have lunch with us. Who the fuck are you? You know, you, you see what I'm saying? Not this David Arquette, but I don't give a fuck if you made an AT&T commercial. And then, like, we'd be at a show, and we'd be at a show, and they'd say, yeah, you know, um, two of the fucking, um, the, the Broncos are out there. Denver Broncos or whatever. They want to meet y'all. Denver in the house all day, but I'm like, I don't, what the fuck am I saying to the football player, you know? Oh, so you play football and you're the shit, and, uh, and I rap and I'm the shit. What's up? Now we're down, you know? And fuck all that. It's just, I don't fit in with that shit. None of, none of us do. So, we spent the money with the quickness. Bought a couple wrestling rings. Oriental health spies. A 
lot of NyQuil, not gonna lie. In 1999, with this new label, we released the fifth Joker's card, The Amazing Jekyll Brothers. I'm not going to sit up here and explain what, what, every, what every Joker's card is and what it means, because you guys already know that. And by me sitting up here at the Juggalo gathering and trying to do that would be like insulting y'all. And if there's somebody in the room that don't know what it means, you're in the wrong fucking place. What up, Juggalos? Carry on. So, uh, you know, Twisted, their story speaks for itself, you know? They, they, they do their own tours, they're putting out their own artists, we are spreading, the, we're, we started a label, it's working, it's, it's, it's music, they, they, they can't be defined, it, 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 I don't want to fucking try to name it, you know what I'm saying? It's just... It's juggalo shit all day, you know? It's like... And sometimes if we fuck up, you know what I'm saying? We fuck up, you know, because we're still learning. It's not over yet, y'all. You know? But... It's time for the six Jokers car. My knees are weak. I'm just gonna tell y'all what it is, you know? It's like... Listen, I, I started smoking weed about a year ago. Let the truth be known, it was Blaze that got me started. I, I got one question for you, Jado. Where the weed at? He got a foot long joint. <laughs> he just fired up. Man, that would have to be a long ass joint by the time he made it back to you. <laughs> but anyway, I, I, uh, um, I told y'all that because I figured I'm just gonna correct every wrong in my life you know and the only wrong I had to correct was telling my brother because we made a pack when we were little kids my sister was a fucking crack whore you know 